I bought this metal cabinet a couple of weeks ago at a local historical charity flea market. I bought this metal cabinet a couple of weeks ago at a local historical charitable flea market uh, for 25 bucks. It's a metal cabinet with casters. Rolls really smoothly. Uh, it's fairly clean. All I did was wipe off the top um, just to get some of the scuffs off to see if they would come off. It's a, like I said, metal cabinet. It's got two shelves made by a company called Ampco, which dates back uh, to building metal kitchen cabinets some number of years ago. I believe this was for a printer, maybe even a fax machine. Kids, ask your parents. Uh, these shelves look appropriately sized for paper. Uh, it measures, I'm using my friend Stanley here, I measure 17 wide, 18 to the front of the cabinet, plus an extra inch for the door, so 19. Uh, the cabinet itself is 26, and with the casters, it is almost 29 inches tall. Uh, on the inside, the door opening is 14 inches, and we can have 17 inches deep. Uh, inside the door, if we're right at 17 inches as well, uh, we are 10 inches and almost 11 uh, inches tall for clearance. All four of the casters swivel. They roll fairly, fairly well. Uh, the two on the front actually lock. Uh, and, you know, for the weight of the metal, uh, the cost of the casters, which I could take off uh, these easily, uh, slide into little clips and just screw on, uh, $25 was a pretty good find. So you may ask yourself, what am I going to do with this cabinet? I'm going to use it for my welding supplies. Yeah, it's another hobby. I recently took it up to fix a tractor, which is another hobby, which I'll tell you more about. And the tractor is for the farm, which is another hobby, which I'll be telling you about over the years uh, to come, hopefully, if I survive at all. Uh, and so we're going to put together this welding cabinet now. All of the stuff that I am putting in the cabinet I already had, uh, including uh, a little wire shelf. Uh, this is a little two-level wire shelf that I will use to separate spools and sticks. And we'll just slide it in there. Take my sticks, slide them in with the sticker facing out so I know what they are. There they are. Uh, I have my helmet, I have some gloves, throw those in there. I have removed the grounding clamp and stick it just in here for a bit. I have lost my tools. They're somewhere. Oh. <laughs> I used one of my little sorting bins. I've got just some loose things, uh, instruction book uh, for the welder and the helmet. Just stick it on uh, one of the shelves. And then lastly, and lastly, the welder just goes on top. I can move it around, I can screw it down, I can strap it down, I can do whatever I need to. I've got plenty of room. Uh, and since this is a metal cabinet, I can use magnets. I love magnets. So I had a couple of bins. Uh, this one happens to be purple. I can stick it on the side to catch all. Uh, and this one I can use for uh, smaller bits and bobs. Uh, and it fits inside the door uh, between these two members and allows me to close the door without any interference because this door is about three quarters of an inch plus some bumpers uh, and has a little bit of space to the hinge uh, and so the face of this actually only better oh and then the shelf itself is inside set by another half inch or so so uh, this when the door closes does not interfere with anything uh, it may hold markers pencils marking utensils scratchers scrapes, picks, punches, 
uh, whatever is necessary. I have a couple more tools to put in here. I have plenty of room for spools. Uh, if I decide to go with gas, which I probably won't anytime soon, I uh, have plenty of room on the top. I could put a small bottle or I could build a small little platform off to the bot bottom, the back, or uh, on the side, either one, and I could strap it to this thing. So for a $25 flea market find, this is, uh, I think it'll work well as a welding cabinet. Um, now I guess I need to go break some stuff so I can fix it. Click the buttons below uh, for like and subscribe and turn on notifications. You can turn them all on or you can turn on the personalized ones. Here we go. Another quick little upcycle repurpose of an old cabinet that would have gone to the junkyard otherwise. Thanks. Too many hobbies, not enough time. It's a theme song, y'all. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it.